Hey, just sitting here thinking about our friend David Smith, a guy we met, gosh, about four years ago, weighed in at about 630 pounds. And since that time, he has lost a whole bunch of that weight, about 400 pounds. There's David. When we first met him, he was a mess, shall we say. He was obviously way overweight. He had a horrible diet. He had become kind of a recluse, couldn't drive because he couldn't get into a car. He dropped out of high school, and he called our Chris Powell and asked for help. Well, David lost 400 pounds, but when you lose that much weight, there are some other problems that go with it, a lot of problems you wouldn't expect, like excess skin. And so we have uh, three of the doctors that worked on David. He is going to be joining us uh, at about 8.15 with Olivia. But we have Dr. Jay Swartz here, who is an eye doctor. Correct. Then we have Dr. Todd Jorgensen in the middle. And you did the uh, skin? I did the uh, plastic surgery in the mouth. The plastic surgery in the mouth. And then we have uh, Dr. John Baldelato, who is the teeth doctor, the smile doctor. And I did his teeth. And you did his teeth. Actually, I was a little surprised because I didn't know we had to have two different things going with his mouth. What mm -hmm. happens? Well, with a person who's that overweight? Several different things. Most uh, remarkably, a lot of David's teeth had eroded due to decay. Uh, David it was drinking two liters of soda at night before he went to bed. That caused Two chem liters before he yeah, went to uh, bed? Yeah, just in, that, in the daytime before he went to bed, and that's a lot of chemical erosion. He also, with his weight, had gastric reflux. That causes the stomach acids to come up and erode away some of the back molars. So he had a combination of decay, chemical erosion, teeth wear, he had, had ground his teeth down, so a multitude of things that need to be corrected. Dr. Jorgensen and myself uh, worked together. I did veneers on his teeth, removed all the decay, did veneers on his teeth, and a couple of his teeth were missing, and Dr. Jorgensen came in and did some uh, gum patching to make uh, the aesthetics look better. What does that entail? I mean, was that strictly cosmetic, or was some of what you did medically necessary because of the weight he had been? Strictly cosmetic. We just take a small piece of skin from the roof of the mouth, move it to different places to make things look nice so Dr. Botolato can place all those veneers and make them look perfect. All right, then Dr. Swartz, what was your role in uh, getting David back to being such a, 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 a nice-looking young man? Well, David had uh, quite a bit of nearsightedness. If you see some of those earlier clips, he had pretty thick glasses. And, you know, one of the goals was to just try to free him up and let him work out and not worry about contacts or glasses or any of that. So we did some LASIK on him and uh, his vision turned out great. There he is right there. Yeah. Th th is that typical for people getting some of these procedures? Because I know for a fact that David's self-esteem has absolutely skyrocketed. Well, is that unusual? Is, for the self-esteem to skyrocket? No, I mean, that's what happens. People just feel better about themselves. They feel like they look better, they feel better, and, and uh, you know, he's done remarkably well. Now, David obviously had the advantage of uh, getting some help from all you guys because of the project we were all doing was this would this be an expensive process sure uh, yes. for there, what there, you there's did doctors Dan there's doctors that aren't even here Dr. Mehdi Mazahari the mm -hmm. team of surgeons over at Desert, Desert Palm Surgical Group all aren't here the total of just the skin removal could be close to a hundred thousand dollars in what he had teeth about forty thousand LASIK about forty five hundred yeah and what Dr. Jorgensen did couple thousand, thousand dollars so you're talking about significant amounts of, of, of medical money I guess that that we all came together but David's story is so inspiring it's such a pay it forward story that we were all happy to be a part part of it and uh, make him feel better he's inspired us so it's a real feel-good story for I was gonna us. say uh, Dr. Jorgensen you saw David uh, from uh, much closer to the beginning what, what's your reaction when you see him now uh, David's an all-new man he has much higher self-esteem he's He's humorous, friendly, outgoing. It's been a pleasure just to be a part of the program. That's kind of what everybody says, isn't yeah, it? That absolutely. you know, he was a, a, a very quiet, introverted recluse, and now yeah, he was a little withdrawn. And I saw him in the office just uh, about a month ago, and yeah, I mean, we have a nice conversation. He's real up and talking about what's going on in his life, and it's great to see because he has something going on in his life. Well, that's right. Thank you all. Big help from the, these three plus many more doctors, and as I said, in about a half hour from now, Olivia will be introducing us to the new, improved, and very happy David. The big reveal and also uh, talking about what he's going to be working on in the future, more transformations oh, wait, ahead, so wait, wait till you hear. You hear. <laughs> and you know, uh, kudos to the doctors. I mean, that, the, the amount of money that it takes to do something like that, 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 that 90, I'm guessing a ton of people can't afford to do. Incredibly generous.
what an amazing gift to be able to give that to somebody and, and, and cover those expenses. So thanks to all those doctors. And inspire so much change. So yeah. a lot more and even more on Good Day Arizona today. So uh, certainly a story we're talking about. I